RadicalPrep.com. Okay, everybody, how's it going? Uh, we're going to do a sequence question. This is number 17, and it says, the first term of a sequence of numbers is 13. If each term after the first is the square of the previous term, how many of the first 25 terms of the sequence end in 1? A little bit of a mouthful, but... Um, Basically what you're going to do in any sequence question, or the first thing I would recommend, is just put in some slots here, or some lines. That's going to represent all the numbers that you're going to use. Okay? So they tell you that the first term is 13, and we're worried about or concerned about how many of them end in 1. Okay. So to get the next one, it says that we're just going to square the previous term. So we want to square 13 here. So you can actually do it, and I'll just show you... Uh, kind of the shortcut is that you know you could punch it into your calculator and you're gonna get uh, 169 but really what's going on here is that we're just concerned with this spot right here right 3 times 3 is 9 uh, 3 times 1 is 3 1 times 3 is 3 1 times 1 is 1 and I'm kinda of showing you that because we really don't care about these numbers all over here we just care about what's in this spot so to save time we can just kinda of put Bop, bop, 9. We know it's going to be some number with a 9 on the end. And instead of doing 169 in the calculator again and doing 169 times 169 or doing it by hand or in the calculator, what is 9 times 9? What's going to be in that last spot? Well, it's just a 1. So now we can just put that in there. We don't know what the number is, but we know it ends in 1. And that's kind of nice because any number, no matter what it is, when you go and times it by itself again, What's one times one? So that's the that's kind of the trick here, in that you don't you probably would see the pattern eventually, and maybe the problem is a little easy. But it's the idea that if you ever get these sequence questions where they're asking you about the last spot, don't go and use a calculator like crazy. Just realize that when you multiply this uh, this digit right here, uh, once you do that, it stays. Nothing else can affect it. All right. So now we've just got something 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 with a one at the end times something 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 with a one and it keeps repeating we're kinda of stuck here kinda of got stuck in a pattern and that's gonna be a one as well so you don't have to do this 25 times what do you know you've got 25 of those spots right and only two of them don't end in ones so 25 minus 2 is 23 and I hope that explanation helped you. If you need any more help or practice with the SAT, definitely visit my uh, website, and that is www.radicalprep.com. Take care.